The Alpenfön Glacier Water 240 High Speed is part of the brand new series of all-in-one liquid CPU coolers from the German manufacturer AKL, also known as Alpenfön. The Glacier Water 240 High Speed is available for purchase for around 177 US dollars or euros. This is, if you can find one, in the United States of A, which is going to be tricky. One selling point of the Glacier Water 240 High Speed, and in fact the entire Glacier Water series of CPU coolers, is that they were designed with the help of the well-known overclocker, Der Bauer. Not only that, but all Glacier Water CPU coolers come with a Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut Thermal Compound. And let me tell you, that thing is not cheap at all. It is in fact one of the most expensive thermal compounds available right now. The design of the Glacier Water 240 High Speed is certainly good, with an all-black color scheme and full addressable RGB integration on the water block and on the two included fans. Another feature of this cooler is found on the top of the CPU block. Here we get to see the Alpenfone logo illuminated with glorious RGB and a ring of light on the edges. What you can do here is replace the Alpenfone logo with either one of your own or with those included in the package. And in the package you have included a few. You can have the Alpenfone logo, which is already installed, have no logo at all, and thus have no RGB at the center, or have all the RGB at the center. Or also you can have either the AMD logo or the Thermal Greasy logo. Also no Intel logo for some reason. Also, this CPU block, it has a good build quality, even though, on the outside at least, it is made out of plastic. However, this plastic shell has a glossy finish, similar if not identical with what we call the piano black texture. Mark my words, this will catch fingerprints and smudges even if you look at it the wrong way. The only way I was able to have the CPU block clean for taking photos and video was with me using gloves for the entire time of handling this CPU cooler. Anyway, moving along, this CPU cooler has a copper made base plate which is attached to the pump with the help of no less than 10 Phillips screws. Other manufacturers have their base plates attached through different methods and thus have a completely smooth base. This one however is standard. It's not a bad thing, I'm just saying, for the price of this cooler I was hoping for an entirely smooth base plate. In addition, this base plate has a smooth surface and a radial pattern which gives out this lovely sunburst effect. Not that you are going to see it anyway once installed, but it's there. The two tubes of the CPU cooler are covered by high quality sleeving and have a length of around 380mm from top to the bottom. These tubes are flexible enough to not cause issues with the cooler, especially in tight spaces where the radiator is closer than usual to the CPU block. On the CPU block side, these tubes are connected through angled fittings that can also rotate, which is great. Unfortunately, these fittings are made out of plastic and not metal, but that's the case for most if not all CPU coolers these days. On the radiator side, these tubes just connect right in, with nothing fancy going on in terms of the fittings. Speaking of which, the Glacier Water 240 High Speed has a standard 240mm radiator which has a thickness of just 27mm. This radiator is made out of aluminum and has the manufacturer's logo applied on the sides. Other features of this radiator are found at the back where the two tubes connect to it. Here there are two ports that give easy access to the liquid loop of the cooler. The top port is used for bleeding the air out of the system, while the side port can be used to fill up the CPU cooler if needed. However, both these ports are covered by warranty stickers, which means that if you tamper with them, you will void your warranty, so you have been warned. The fan used on the Glacier Water 240 High Speed are the Alpenphone WinBoost 3 ARGB High Speed models, which I've reviewed in the past, check the notification on the top of the video. Anyway, the cooler uses two 120mm WinBoost 3 ARGB high speed fans. These have a maximum speed of 2200 RPM and a minimum speed of 500 RPM. These fans also use a fluid dynamic bearing system and have all black cables. Speaking of which, each fan has only two connectors, a single 4 pin for power and a single 3 pin for the addressable RGB LEDs. The cables are not sleeved to save space, but fortunately these wires are flat and are also black so they will match with the rest of your system. Other than that, these fans have all the usual features found on modern fans such as rubber pads on the corners of the fan frame to dampen the vibration and a design of the impeller that will improve the overall performance of the fan. 
The accessories included with the Alpen Phone Glacier Water 240 High Speed are plentiful. We start with the user manual and the different warranty leaflets for both the cooler and the thermal compound. Then we have a single tube of Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut Thermal Compound and a plastic Thermal Grizzly applicator. Then we have an addressable RGB controller which has its own remote included. Then a metallic backplate for both platforms, a single PWM splitter cable for powering the fans, a single RGB splitter for the addressable RGB LEDs, and one addressable RGB splitter for connecting the LEDs of the CPU block onto the motherboard RGB system. Finally, there are also the five plastic logo plates. Afterwards, we have the usual components of the mounting system, which include long screws, short screws, backplate bolts, plastic clips, metallic nuts, small screws for the CPU block, and plenty of other screws for the different CPU sockets available. In addition, there are also two sets of mounting arms, one for the Intel and the other for the AMD platform. The installation procedure is fairly simple for such a complex system. First of all, you take the backplate and turn it the right way for your CPU socket. Then place the metal studs through the backplate spaces and then secure the studs with the included plastic clips. Afterwards, place the backplate at the back of the motherboard CPU socket and now remove the label which protects the copper made base plate of the cooler. And then attach the correct mounting arms on the lower edges of the CPU block. You secure the mounting arms with the help of these small screws. Afterwards, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and place the CPU block over the CPU. You then secure the CPU block onto the studs of the backplate by threading in and tightening these metallic nuts. Be careful when you do this, as this mounting system has no spacers available or even some spring-loaded screws. After the CPU block is installed, install the fans onto the radiator and then install the whole assembly in your desired location. Finally, connect everything together and you're set for work. And this is how the Alpen Phone Glacier Water 240 High Speed looks like installed in my testing system. The RGB effects are good if you are into it, and the whole RGB system can be controlled either through your motherboard software or by using the included infrared controller. Before we head into the thermal testing of this CPU cooler, you need to hear how this cooler sounds like, both the included fans and the pump inside the cooler. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful in a review, it does not take into account the external factors such as bearing noises from the fans, vibrations or even the pump. The Glacier Water 240 High Speed uses two 120mm fans that can spin up up to 2200 RPM, so you can expect some noise, and this cooler with both fans spinning at their maximum rated speed reached a maximum noise output of 46 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and CPU cooler. This was to be expected as this cooler is designed to offer as much cooling as possible, thus a compromise had to be made between the cooling performance and the noise. Still speaking of the sound, while not particularly noisy, the pump used on the Glacier Water 240 high speed has the typical pump high-pitched whine, a noise which has plagued most closed-loop CPU coolers since the first model hit the market. It's not bad by any means, I have seen much worse, but it is present, so please take this as a note if the pump noise is a deciding factor to you. The thermal testing is done using an Intel i9-9900K CPU which is running at both its factory frequency and settings and it is then overclocked manually to 5GHz on our cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark. This is a synthetic benchmark which places a workload onto the CPU, which is similar with the workload you may encounter in your daily usage, especially when playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Alpen Phone Glacier Water 240 High Speed reached a maximum temperature of 56 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on our cores. The ambient temperature for all thermal testing is set at 26 degrees Celsius, and so far the Glacier Water 240 is doing great. It is in fact the second best CPU cooler I've tested so far. 
However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some even way beyond it, as this test uses the FPU stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This synthetic benchmark places an unrealistically high workload onto the CPU, something which you will never encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the only workload that even comes close to this is heavy video processing, with the CPU as a main or only rendering unit. And in this test, the Glacier Water 240 reached a maximum temperature of 82 degrees Celsius, with the same 26 degrees ambient temperature. This places the Alpenphone Glacier Water 240 high speed on the second position in our charts, being only 1 degree Celsius behind the Alphacool Ace Bear 280, which is basically a compact, custom-made loop for the CPU. A great result for the Glacier Water 240 high speed in terms of the cooling performance. The Alpenphone Glacier Water 240 High Speed is a great CPU cooler that is worth the asked price. Yes, it is not cheap at all, but it does deliver an outstanding cooling performance. The build quality is also very good for both the cooler itself and the accessories or the included fans. The installation process is very simple and thankfully the mounting system used with this CPU cooler is made out of solid metal and not plastic, which is a great thing to have for long-term usage and reliability. However, there are issues. First of all, that piano black glossy texture on the CPU block, it will catch fingerprints. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and how much. Also, for some reason, while the mounting system is very good, it lacks any type of spacer for the CPU socket. In my humble opinion, all CPU coolers need to have some type of spacers below the mounting arms. Not only do those spacers maintain an even pressure onto the CPU surface, but also they will prevent over tightening of the CPU block onto the CPU. Another thing with this cooler is why even use an aluminum made radiator for such a high end CPU cooler, when a copper made radiator could have been better. Yes, cost of manufacturing is a factor as always, but this cooler is already on the high end segment of the market in terms of the pricing. The Alpenphone Glacier Water 240 High Speed is a truly great CPU cooler. It delivers a great cooling performance, but it is also loud if you're running the fans at their maximum speed. Also, you need to pay attention to the noise made by the pump. It is not a bad noise by any means, but it is there and you should be aware of it. If you like this review, then you may consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.